Hello, it's Dale here. Today I'm going to show you one of the things that I've been working with for a long, long time that we have just have lots of, and it's copper tissue. Just have a look and see if you can hear it and how fine it is. It's a very, very fine paper thickness, really. It's not like copper shim or brass shim. This is extremely fine and you can do all sorts of things with it. And I've been just been experimenting with a few. First of all, I put it over the flame. You'll see that it's got a, a bright side and a dull side. And I put it over the um, gas stove. You can see all the colors that come out. And of course you can manipulate it and shape it um, and use it for wrapping jewelry, uh, beads and wire. Um, but this is just on my stove with a pair of tongs, just getting some of that color. You can do all sorts of other things that I'll show you. I've put it through here, put it through a um, die cutting, this one here. So that's one of some of these that have been put through a die cutter. And use them, that's a little flower that I've just put through yesterday. Um, so it's very easy to cut out shapes and use it in the die cutting machine. Um, and you can use them for tags and little extras and all that sort of thing. But I'll just show you some of the other things that I've done. So this one here... Just wait a minute. And get, come bring out. This one's been in cherry balsamic vinegar for a couple of days, so you can see how it's dulled and changed its colour. Um, the other side, it's different sort of shading. So look, um, that's how I just had it, balsamic vinegar poured over it. And often I've always used to put, to put it in tomato chutney in the past, and um, I didn't have any tomato chutney, so I thought I'd be smart and put it in my tamarello chutney. Now there must be something in my tamarello chutney because it ate away the copper tissue, which was flabbergasted Ian actually, if I may say so. So I don't think I'll bother with that one. And now I'm not quite sure whether I want to eat my tamarello chutney because I don't know what will happen inside my gut. So I've also used it with oxidizing patinas um, and that works quite well, uh, but I haven't got any here at the moment, but just to show you, I, I have a very good set of notes that goes with it. And this one here, has been in bleach, just in a container of bleach. Um, and I'll wash it out, but you get some of those lovely oxidizing sort of um, effects on it. And uh, it's, I just had that sitting outside in the garden in the bowl. Um, and then I've also, I have, you put it through, well, I could put it through a crimper, or I could just pleat up this here, if you've got a crimper, or a hand crimper. So it's just to think of how you could use this to, in your work and people worry about stitching on copper shim but this is so so easy to stitch on i've also you can punch punch your shapes out and so on and then i've also used it uh you know lumiere paint just a bit of paint with any sort of metallic paints work really well um i just did a brush around the straight there glass inks which i haven't got uh but if you've got if you've got them like spirit dyes like panata and also um, uh, nail varnish. Now, I've used nail varnish in the past, but I seem to have lost my container, but it likes nail varnish. This is just my green. That's all I can find today. But And it becomes quite permanent once it's set, and you can stitch onto that, etc., etc. You can then, let's take this onto this one, rub it up with um, some of your um, gilding wax, just to rub on top now it'll just it's to sort of settle a wee bit i think the gilding works let's try it on here where we've done the balsamic and it'll bring up see how it's shining up some of those that balsamic vinegar incidentally that's cherry bowl see how it's just brought that color up there with the balsamic vinegar on top of it with any of your gilding waxes or whatever you've got so obviously um another thing is you can work it on water soluble which i haven't done here but i do now just experimenting a little bit to show you these are this is a distress oxide and while it hasn't set properly i have sort of leave it for a while to see but look at the cut way the colors have moved that's the last lot i put on so it's just running loose on the top but look at the lovely color as it's making and then uh, all sorts of, I mean, you can use foil glue or um, bone ash, you know, this powder and use foils on it. But I haven't done that here, but my notes have all that sort of stuff. And then finally, um, using transfer artist paper, let's chuck all these back in, transfer artist paper that's called tap. 
to um, print your image onto that and then iron it to the copper tissue. And that's just some photos from um, Istanbul quite a long time ago, printed out onto transfer artist paper and ironed onto the copper tissue and then stitched, very easy to stitch onto a background. So this is just a long piece that I made in uh, Istanbul. So uh, just to give you an idea of what you can do, how versatile it is. And now uh, we sell it by the meter, we sell it in pieces, we sell it as a kit. But, you know, it really is so easy to use and to play with. Um, just can't go wrong. So there you are. I hope that's given you a few little ideas. It's a bit congested in here today. We still haven't moved back to our bedroom. See you again another time. Bye.